Hello and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Things. This is Renee and tonight I am going to be working on some coastal slash nautical home decor. So one of the first things I want to show you is how I created uh, this little nautical inspired candle here. And I've done several other items with a stencil. This is Bless. It's in the blue and white. And this was with an item that I thrifted uh, from the local um, thrift shop here in my town. And this has a nautical or coastal vibe also. I found the wood or this plaque, this uh, twine was already attached at um, the Dollar General store and I used my stencil. So most of my stenciling, since I'm going for that nautical or coastal vibe, most of the um, stenciling will be probably in either blue, white, or green. So in order to create some of these, items, so to recreate them, you are going to uh, need some wood, some twine, and I got my twine from Hobby Lobby some weeks ago, and I have these candles, probably got them from Dolly Tree, and you can use some jewels if you want to give them that kind of bedazzled look, or stones, or Sometimes you can get these in square. I decided just to go with these round shaped ones. And I'm using different brushes. Of course, this is more like for stenciling and just a regular sponge brush. You'll need some paint. Now I'm using um, these acrylic paints. I use the uh, yellow okra, the yellow. Uh, to create green because I didn't have any green acrylic paints. Um, so I used my blue and my yellow, mix those together. My grandson helped me out with this and I created like a foam green there. So the first thing I want to start with is my candle. You can use a taller candle if you like. I just happened to have these on hand and really I didn't go out and purchase anything except for this of so some of the other items I've already had. And I may do a little stenciling also with some platters that I have. I pre-taped these. So I may be doing some stenciling on these. Might want to use these as some wall decor, so I want to save some time, so I went ahead and I take those. We'll start with this. As I said, this is very simple. You're simply going to take um, a length of twine, several inches. Glue it to your candle. And then I'll, yeah, I have some starfish too. Now you can use some other shells if you like, but these are some starfish that I found at, I believe, Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to be using these. I wanted some seahorses too, but I don't think I saw any there. But later on I may have to go back and see if I can find some at another retail store here in my area. Now this is really simple. Now I have my little thimble uh, so I don't burn my fingers, but it keeps falling off. But I'm just going to wrap that around, add a little hot glue. Mm 
I'm trying to keep that hot glue off my table. Okay. Okay, I think you get the picture. You're just going to wrap this around your candle. You can wrap it probably around several times. Then I know how much you want. Now I just did a few wraps. But if you want to, you can probably take it all the way down to the bottom. But I got this idea when I was um, doing a shot with me at the dollar store. And I saw something, uh, I believe, similar to these. And I thought, well, I think I can re uh, create those. I'm adding a little hot glue there. And then I'm going to use a little bit more hot glue and use one of the smaller starfish there. I think I'll need a little bit more. It's really burning tonight. Wow. That is super simple. I believe the little pack of starfish cost me maybe four ninety nine, five ninety nine, probably no more than six ninety nine. And of course, these candles, um, I believe I got them from the Dollar Tree. They're probably like a dollar. Of course, the twine might have been four ninety nine, but this is something that I've been using for a while. I think that will hold it. And if not, I can add a little bit more later on. Okay, so there we have two more candles. And I wanted to add um, a larger, I guess, starfish here on my plaque. And I think I'm going to go back and see if I can find some more of these at the Dollar General store, and I'm going to stencil maybe beach or something else on them that's kind of coastal inspired. I want to get it on there so that it's not covering any of the letters. I think I'm going to go with one of the smaller ones. I love the beach. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to transition my decor from a uh, crystal to coaster. And some years ago, I had uh, a lot of coaster inspired decor. I had the um, lighthouses, but I think I sold those at a yard sale. And now I wish I had kept them because I'm just going to have to go thrifting to see if I can find some more. Okay, and we will add that starfish there. And I think I'm going to hang this in my kitchen. See how super simple that is.
You can see I have lots of other items here that I can work with. And so I'm going to um, stop this video there and maybe do another video or part two with Coastal Inspired Design. Now, if you're one of my subscribers, thank you so very much. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, Pretty Things, and you like Coastal Inspired Decor, I would love to have you join the family. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.